Recently, some have questioned whether good works are necessary for salvation. A. A. Hodge has this to say on page 526 of his Outlines of Theology. 16. In what sense are good works necessary for salvation? As a necessary and invariable fruits of both the change of relation accomplished in justification and of the change of nature accomplished in regeneration, though never as the meritorious grounds or conditions of our salvation. Antinomians are, as their name signifies, those who deny that Christians are bound to obey the law. They argue that as Christ has in our place fulfilled both the preceptive and penal departments of God's law, his people must be delivered from all obligation to observe it, either as a rule of duty or as a condition of salvation. Paul in the sixth chapter of Romans declares that this damnable heresy was charged as a legitimate consequence upon his doctrine in that day. He not only repudiates the charge, but on the contrary affirms that free justification through an imputed righteousness without the merits of works is the only possible condition in which the sinner can learn to bring forth holy works as the fruits of filial love. The very purpose of Christ was to redeem to himself a peculiar people. Zealous of good works, and this he accomplished by delivering them from the federal bondage of the law in order to render them capable as the Lord's free men of moral conformity to it, ever increasingly in this life, absolutely in the life to come. Outlines of Theology, page 526, A.A. A. Hodge.